We are in the midst of the first Wild Rift dynasty. Keep Best Gaming has dominated every Wild Rift tournament in the last two years, cementing themselves as the undisputed best team in the world. And it's only been possible thanks to their superstar jungler. That. But that and KBG were not always on top of the world. This video will take you through a journey of how that became the best player in Wild Rift. The first major Wild Rift tournament in China was the Wild Rift League. No one knew who the best players were. Everyone was hungry to prove themselves in the qualifiers. And while most teams qualified through the regular qualifying tournaments, KBG was going to fight their way through the influencer qualifier, where only one out of six teams would qualify for WRL. The influencer qualifier was reserved for teams founded or owned by Chinese actors, singers or popular lol figures. After a promising first place in the group, Dat and KBG were able to clench a win in the grand finals beating Devilish Grin 3-2, qualifying them to WRL. But KBG knew that the big leagues were a different beast than the qualifiers. Changes needed to be made. They replaced their mid laner with Anran 9, who showed a lot of promise despite failing to qualify with his team. By KBG, Anran 9, montage moment, left alone, passive flash, perfect execution, Jatta ready from zero, he might be able to get a 5 point flag, oh. he's gonna go in, but there's a barrier no on his side, KBG survives, and Anran is not gonna be what? chased, he still has the knockoff, this guy is a god! They also changed their bot lane, picking up Kong and YXY. With the revamped roster, KBG was ready to face the best teams in China and prove to the world that they are the best team in the world. But they quickly realized that the competition they will be facing would be overwhelming. The top 4 teams of WRL would qualify for icons, so the pressure was on. They would play 11 games versus the best 11 teams in China, then only the top 6 teams would progress in the second stage of the tournament. No one expected KBG to do well, considering that they qualified through the influencer qualifier. And KBG proved them right. They had a rough start to the tournament, not able to find their footing. While they managed to get some wins versus some of the best teams, they ultimately failed to make it to the second stage, placing 9th, ending their dreams of going to icons. However, they qualified for the next season of WRL. At icons, it was all about China. They seemed unstoppable. Three of the four semi finalists were Chinese teams. And only Team Flash from Vietnam was able to take down JD Gaming to stop the all Chinese semi final. Nova Esports destroyed their competition, and they were the victors of icons, with Nova Long, their jungler, leading the way, who many considered to not just be the best jungler but the best player in the world. Not participating at icons and not having his skills acknowledged set a fire under that. He knew he was the best, but he needed to prove it. The next big tournament in China was the Snapdragon Pro Series, where that would face other top Chinese teams, including Nova. However, Long would not be playing. Nova decided not to field their main roster. So even though KBG was able to win the tournament, that was not able to prove that he was the best player. Fans thought that if Long was there, Nova would easily win the tournament. In the next few tournaments, KBG continued to impress and placed extremely well. However, the wins were meaningless if they could not dethrone Long and the rest of Nova Esports. The Demacia Cup was finally their chance to do just that. The Demacia Cup is the highest level Wild Rift tournament besides WRL. This was a chance for Dat to finally beat Long and earn his rightful place at the top. With the addition of talented Baron laner KG, already established superstar support Yu Yu, and mastermind coach 
Laobai, Key Best Gaming had the tools they needed to make it to the top. KBG was placed in a different group than Nova. And while they were able to beat OMG, they were sent to the losers bracket versus superstar mid laner Z and the rest of Thunder Talk Gaming. After fighting tooth and nail to once again beat OMG in the lower bracket, they were again bested by Thunder Talk Gaming, ending their chances of making playoffs and winning the Demacia Cup. And what's worse, Nova was able to win the tournament, further establishing them as the best team in the world in the eyes of the fans, and Long as the best player in the world. WRL Season 2 was going to be a massive Wild Rift tournament with half a million dollar prize pool. It was time for Dad and KBG to show the world that all their hard work from last season was not in vain. They were ready to show just how good they were. KBG dominated the regular season, winning 10 out of their 11 matches. The dominance displayed from the duo of Dad and Arna 9 was something we've never seen before from a mid-jungle duo in Wild Rift. No one could match their early game dominance and synergy. Nova was in second place, and Dad was snubbed from the first All-Pro team, despite an incredible performance throughout the regular season. Instead, Nova Long was awarded the first All-Pro team honors, while Dad had to settle for second team All-Pro. In stage 2 of the tournament, the top 6 teams retain their regular season records but play additional matches against each other. Nova demolished KBG. 3-0 in one of the most dominant performances we've ever seen in Wild Rift. Even though KBG were able to maintain their first seed going into playoffs, thanks to the huge lead in points they already had from the regular season, Everyone expected that Nova would win the tournament. In the playoffs, they would end up in opposite sides of the bracket. And while KBG was able to make it to the grand finals, an unexpected upset from Team Weabo left Nova in third place. KBG was able to bust JD Gaming in the semis and demolish Team Weabo in the finals, where that earned finals MVP. KBG had just won the biggest Wild Rift tournament. But they did it without beating Nova and Long, so many fans were hesitant to call them the best team in the world and that the leader, the best player. During the offseason, KBG won the Huya Cup and traded Dragon Laners with FPX, picking up Xioma, the superstar ADC that led FPX to win WRL Season 1, and giving up Kong, who despite not being the star player of KBG, had been a crucial player for them in many games. Riot announced that they would discontinue supporting Wild Rift Esports globally, limiting their support to Asia, so the WRL format in China would be discontinued for a new format. Wild Rift League Asia, with a Chinese conference and an APAC conference that includes teams from Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Philippines and Korea. The best teams from each conference would meet in a combined playoff final. The new WRLA format was extremely cutthroat, and every win mattered. The top four teams would start playoffs in the upper bracket, giving them breathing room in case they lose a series to try again in the lower bracket. The next four teams would not have that luxury, so getting a good placement in the regular season was crucial. Key Best Gaming would again have an exceptional regular season, going 14 wins and 1 loss. However, that 1 loss was versus their Achilles heel, Nova Esports. It's playoff time, and only 2 Chinese teams will qualify for the Wild Rift League Asia Finals. As the first place team, KBG would choose their first round opponent, and of course, they chose Nova so they can prove to the world that they're better. KBG got off to a great start, winning 3 of the first 4 games in the best of 7. They just need one more win to finally prove to the world that they're the better team. However, things did not go as planned. Nova won the next 3 games, flipping the tables and knocking KBG into the lower bracket, where any loss would mean elimination. KBG now needed to win three best of seven series in the lower bracket to reach the Chinese conference finals and qualify for the playoffs of WRLA. They made a cocky decision choosing Nova and now they're getting punished. First up, they would need to face JDG and their superstar mid laner, Feibai. 
After an early lead going up two games, JDG reversed the tables, winning the next three. There was no room to lose another one. And that stepped up with an incredible carry performance on Aatrox, changing the momentum of the series and winning the next game as well, eliminating JDG and making it to the next round, where they would face Thunder Talk Gaming and another superstar mid laner, Z. There we go back into this replay. I think Z went in super confident. Yeah, he wanted to assassinate Morty, but a silence knock up for days is enough. Wait, oh, he was still able to get a one for one actually. So that's fine. Or maybe a two for one. Z is known as one of the most aggressive and dominant mid laners in Wild Rift. His signature Akali is feared and usually banned out in every tournament, but KBG did not respect it leaving Akali open for the first three games. Z is such a talented mid laner that allows Thunder Talk to break their limits and exponentially improve. As they face Keep Best Gaming, Z demonstrated perfectly why his Akali should always be respected, getting so many kills and even solo killing Andra 9, the best mid laner in the world, four times in their third game. In this fight, we see him easily take him down as KBG puts everything to take him out as well. But this allows Thunder Talk to be engaged, taking three members of Keepest Gaming and get the Elder Dragon as well. KBG started off the series badly, only winning one of their first four games by countering Ziza Kali with Twisted Fate. But they couldn't afford another loss, so they banned Akali for the remainder of the series. KBG clawed their way back to get to a decisive game 7. This is it. One game. Do or die. Thunder Talk Gaming started the game in dominant fashion. Z got the early game leads he's known for, giving them a 5,000 gold lead by minute 8. They perfectly snowballed the game, grabbing a 9k gold lead by minute 15 and opening up KBG's base looking to end the series until they overstepped. There's the shield. KG is desperately trying to defend the gargoyle enchant is casted, but it's not enough oh, to sustain the damage. They still have the cannon, they still have the shield, looks like KG is gonna do it again, <gasps> he's able to defend. KG was able to defend the Nexus and take out the jungler and support of TT, allowing KBG to grab the next dragon and Baron, putting them back into the game in one of the most clutch plays in Wild Rift history. They were still down 6k gold after grabbing a few turrets with Baron, but at least they still had hope. KG would continue dominating the side lane with Fiora, picking up a late game solo kill and while Z was rotating to defend and take down Fiora, the rest of KBG were able to secure Elder and win the following team fight, eventually leading to Baron. They break through TT's base, but they're not able to end. They lose the team fight. KBG just had no answers to Z's fed AP Kaisa. And when all hope was lost, this happened. A kill, but looks like it's the one in trouble oh, right wait. now. They're taking this what? without hesitation. The dog trying the to reach dead. for the skies, but now Elder. the elder's gonna be taken. Top side though, that's a Ace. big Ace. wave. Huh? And KG is there. Oh no, KG can just hit the nexus like three hits is enough for sure. One, oh, two, base three, race. Not enough. Elder and Dragon. No. KBG remains in this tournament. They will remain in this tournament moving to the lower bracket finals waiting to whoever wins between nova esports and j team kg on fiora back doors while his team loses the team fight and they have done it with kg going clutch play after clutch play they advance to the next round in the upper bracket j team was able to defeat nova esports qualifying for the final four and sending Nova to the lower bracket, which meant that KBG would need to once again face the biggest hurdle that keeps stopping them, Nova Esports and Long. And the winner of this series would be the second and final team qualifying to the final four. It was another must-win series for KBG and that. Nova was able to start off with a two-game lead, putting the pressure on KBG. But at this point, they're familiar with being in the back foot. This is their comfort zone. When the stakes are high, that's when KBG performs. 
and that is exactly what they did. The next four games were won in dominant fashion. KBG absolutely obliterated Nova, leaving no questions for who the best team was. The final four format was a single round robin where everyone plays against everyone to create the seeding for the playoff bracket. Fourth and third team would compete for a chance to play versus the second team, and the winner of that would play in the grand finals versus the first seed team. After finally overcoming their rivals, KBG were extremely confident. They did not lose a single game, dominating Nigma Galaxy in the grand finals, 4-0. Season 2 of the Wild Rift League Asia would be starting in a few months, so KBG had time to rest, refresh and get ready for the next season. Now that they were the top dog, teams would be targeting them in an effort to prove that they are the best. The regular season did not start well for KBG, they were a middle of the pack team, questions started arising, maybe their incredible lower bracket run last season was just a fluke. This season, it was all about Thundertalk Gaming and Z. In very dominant performance, Z was able to lead Thundertalk Gaming to first place in the regular season, trying to mask their humiliating exit from last season. The runner-up, EDG, were also finally finding their footing. Midlaner Yu and the Dragonlane support duo of Alone and Langui have been dominating for a long time. But with the addition of Superstar Jungler 0711, who was a key piece in J-Team last year, finally pushed EDG to be a top contender. KBG was barely able to make it in the top 4, allowing them to start playoffs in the upper bracket. Thunderdog Gaming had a choice. They could have picked Trace Esports, who many considered one of the weaker teams, but instead they chose KBG as their first round opponent. And once again, Thunderdog Gaming would get an early start, winning the first two games, but KBG is all too familiar with being behind. And with that, playing the newly released Hecarim, they were able to sweep the next four games, finding their form and showing the world that they're still the best team in the world. In the next round, they would face EDG, who easily beat Trace Esports 4-1. While EDG prioritized Hecarim and Nautilus, picking them up every single game, their read on the meta was off. KBG picked up on late game carries in mid lane, Kasdan, Vladimir and Quen, scaling dragon laners of Ezreal and Orn. They played safe, waited for their late game and swept EDG, 4-0, qualifying them to the final four yet again. In the finals, they once again dominated the group stage, not losing a single game and putting themselves in the grand finals. G2 Black, the team from the Philippines, who finished 4th in the group stage, would have a long hard road in front of them if they wanted to win. First, they faced Korean powerhouse KT Rolster, but they dominated them quickly, and then they would need to face EDG. Chinese teams are considered to be a lot better than the rest of the regions in WRLA, but G2 Black wanted to prove everyone was wrong. While EDG was able to get an early lead, winning game 1 with a combo of Senna Nasus, G2 Black would win the rest of the games, advancing to the grand finals versus Keep Best Gaming. After a 25 minute long game 1 going to the side of G2 Black, there was hope. The Giants could bleed, KBG was beatable. Game 2 and Game 3 were again long games, one of them going to KBG and the other to G2 Black. But G2 Black lost focus, losing two quick games to KBG with extremely dominant individual performances from Baron Laner, KG and Dat. G2 Black was able to clench game 6 and it came down to another critical game 7. G2 Black winning this game would prove that China is not as dominant of a region as everyone thinks. They can be beaten. Keep Best Gaming winning this game, winning their third back to back to back championship, would finally cement them as the best team in Wild Rift history. KBG was able to outdraft the G2 Black and got their comfort picks in very good matchups. They once again picked their scaling carries, Kassadin and Ezreal, pairing it up with the massive frontline of Renekton, Shen, and Orn. 
and that, with incredible early game jungle pathing, was able to give his late game scaling comp an early game lead. It was over. G2 Black was too far behind. They were not going to scale as the game goes on. There is simply nothing to be done. Key Best Gaming are champions once again. Congratulations to Keep Best Gaming. It is in their name, they are the best and they keep on winning as well. They will be crowned the Wild Rift League Asia Season 2 Champions again. The back-to-back -back champions. Dad has won the Finals MVP award and has proven to the world that he is the greatest Wild Rift player ever.